This is Jake with AG Russell Knives, and today we're going over the AG Russell Shop Made California Bowie. Or Bowie, I've heard it both ways. This is the AG Russell Shop Made California Bowie. It's designed as a tribute to D.E. Henry. AG Russell and D.E. Henry were close friends. D.E. Henry was considered to be one of the best Bowie makers who ever lived. And AG just wanted to kind of honor that legacy. So you can see right here, we have a California clip point blade. This is a California clip. You can see right here, you got a nice plunge line, nice full flat grind here. And then the uh, blade extends a little bit past the tang to get that so you can sharpen it all the way to the edge there. We have um, a kind of a coffin style handle here with six pins on each side. This is African ironwood. And then uh, we have a red liner in between the full tang and the, and the handle scales. Uh, one thing that really sets these apart, and I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna really be able to show you, is the fit up between the guard and the blade are so close together Yeah, all you're getting is glare, huh? The fit up between the blade and the guard are so close together, it, it repels moisture. It, um, super, super tight fit. And that's what D.E. Henry was really known for is that, that fit up between the guard and the blade is just masterful. We're using uh, more modern techniques than he was, and he was just using a file and just getting that perfect, perfect fit up. Really impressive craftsmanship. So on, the, on these buoys, these are shop made, they're semi-production, so they're part production, part handmade, um, not full handmade. We're not forging this out ourselves. We're not, uh, I mean, we're getting, this is 154 CM steel from the steel mill. Um, great performing uh, steel. We're doing most of the work at, here in Rogers, Arkansas, doing all the finishing touches, but there's just some things that we aren't doing by hand. Uh, I mean, the blades are cut out by a water jet and et cetera, but you know, Final grind, final sharpen, the handle put together, the sheath is fully handmade. So semi-production is half and half. Otherwise it'd be much more expensive. <laughs> so here we have the full sized and here is the sheath for that. You got a nice leather sheath on that handmade contrasting stitching there. You got the, uh, the button to lock that handle in. Nice, solid, large loop there. Thick leather, so you're not gonna, well, it reduces the chances of it stabbing out. You got a drainage hole in the back, not on the front. So this one is the African Ironwood. This is coming at 395. We make a bunch of different versions of these. Um, we also have in stock this is a Buckeye Burl, beautiful burl wood here. Again, we have a nice liner here. We try and match the scales a little as best we can. We also have it in Desert Ironwood. And uh, those, those three are all coming in at $3.95. Check the website for current pricing as always. There is, a, this is an old model, it's been discontinued. This is red shock wood handle. Um, I'm only have, I'm down to just the one in the store. And this one again, same thing. This is quilted Afzalia laywood. It's from tropical Africa or sometimes Asia. Again, this is the last one. It's only in the store as the display. We also have this BV hunker. This is a chunky guy. This one, now we, we get a little blade comparison here. Um, you know, 10 inch blade, it's a big boy. A little bit bigger handle, bigger blade. This one actually is kind of eating our grinders alive and we're not doing it anymore. They, it's too hard to grind. We did 15 in African wild olive wood. I'm down to just two, my store display and one in the warehouse. So you got, there's just two. There's one person in the store and one online purchase left on these. Um, I do have 15, uh, well, 13 to 14 blades of these big ones left. We're gonna put something else on them. 
We don't know yet. It, we have to find material that's nice enough and big enough to put it on there. But after those, that'll be the end of those. They'll be done. They'll be for a grand total of 30, 15 African ironwood, and then um, 13 to 15. I forget if we had a couple dud blades or not with the check. I, I forget how many perfect, perfect blades we have. And the big guy has a big sheath as well. We got nice contrasting stitching there. You got your button lock, your, uh, your button for the handle there. Nice and thick, nice handmade brown leather sheath. About a year before AG passed, he designed the Goldfield buoy. It's a much smaller version, like significantly smaller. You can see definitely much smaller blade here, smaller handle. And he wanted it to be for something that would be unobtrusive, that would ride comfortably on your side and be convenient for everyday use. But as you can see on the Goldfield buoy, it's a much smaller handle size there. I have very large hands. It's, uh, I'm getting full grip, I'm getting the full four fingers on there, but it's, uh, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's small, it doesn't fill the, it does not fill the whole hand. It's, um, for my size hands, it's just a tad small, but I am getting the full, full grip on there, so you, I'm going to get that full use of whatever I need it to do. We have this, this one here is a red and gold maple, very, very pretty handle material. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. And you know what? I will zoom in. This is a red and gold maple burl. Absolutely beautiful hand of material. I'm trying to show you kind of the fit up a little bit. And it's just really tight fit up between the guard and the blade. This is coming in at 265. Then we have a black and ten maple burl. So these two are the new ones. This is coming in at 255. And that's a nice hand of material, kind of a darker, a darker look here. And these do come with a handmade leather sheath here. You get your snap, belt loop, white, white contrasting stitching there, and a nice thick construction. And you can see on the uh, Goldfield buoy also have a drainage hole on the back side of that one as well. This is African wild olive wood here. On this one, really pretty, pretty handle scales on that. This one is unique. This is a Norway spruce in a uh, red resin, red and orange resin. You, so we take a red spruce, we had took a Norway spruce cone, impregnate or put it in, in the resin and then cut that in half and put each half of the, of the cone on, on each side of the handle. Makes for a really, really cool handle material. This is coming at 245. It's a very stable handle material because of the resin. And then we have a stag on this Goldfield buoy. Now we're, we, I'm not going to say we're not going to do any more full size in the stag, but it's so hard to get stag that's this size. It's much easier to get stag this size. Um, this bigger one, you have to, I mean, you, the round can't be this big. It has to be bigger because otherwise it's just going to be too round because it's just only, so you have to have like a big chunky piece to get a, a smooth, uh, kind of curvature on the blade. So it has to be like a massive piece of stag to get on these. So I'm not going to say it's not going to happen, but we just currently can't get the stag we need for the big one. So probably the small one is going to be the only stag you're going to be seeing for a while because that's just all we can get. And the stag's coming in at 265. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this uh, kind of gave you a good size comparison between the gold field the full sized and the behemoth. Um, and you just kind of able to see them on camera together and give you a good size comparison. If there's another AJ Russell knife you guys want to see, let me know in the comments and I will try and get to that. Other brands I will attempt to, but I'm working in the store this season, so it will, depending on how much time I have, we'll see. As always guys, 
Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay sharp, and have a good one.